Hey guys, this is Charlie Balkan with Bentwood Farms. I'm Stephen Harrelson with Southern States. Um, Charlie's from Union County, North Carolina. Um, Charlie Farms from anywhere from Union County all the way down to Clarendon County, South Carolina, and row crops. Then he's got this 250 acre sod farm here in Sellers, South Carolina. Um, Charlie, we just want to talk a little bit about the, the program we're, we're using on our on your side. Um, you know, some of the things that we really talk about is, is soil health. You know, we're, we're growing this grass on 90 plus percent sand. Um, so our nutrients and our water all just goes right through the soil profile. So right. We have to manage the nutrition and the soil health in order to keep this grass alive and growing well, developing big root systems. So, right. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what our program is? So we, we're running a, uh, we're running so, like you said, with high sand, high sand content, running a pivot over this ground every day. So we're putting out anywhere from two to three tenths a day on the sand. So we're asking this Bermuda grass, which is a perennial grass, to, to continue to fill in and uh, and grow together. So basically, what you're doing, you're propagating it. You're running a propagation. We're not running an inch out here. We're not running two inches like we would maybe in corn or row crop environments. We're running uh, two tenths of an inch of water daily. So like Stephen said, we're pushing the water down through this sand content every day. So we are running a uh, we're running a uh, we're running a humatil product uh, every every three weeks. So we're asking we're running a gallon of it, which is the Monty's liquid carbon with the micro packaging in it as well. Right. Every three weeks. Because so, ultimately what we're asking this grass to do is grow back together and we'll lift it again. We're standing on a, we're standing on a, a, a section of this farm right now that these guys are, are lifting for the second time. This is we lifted it in April. And we're lifting it again now. So that's uh there there's your there's your huge advantage of having less acres you know, having less acres and, and digging it twice. This would have been, we would have been a 400 acre farm to have done this, you know. So uh, spray it out every three weeks. Uh, uh, tell us, tell us sports team. We're putting out fertility every, every month, every month. Uh, and, and trying to keep the grass mowed as, at, at an inch and a quarter. Um, so that's, right. that's uh so that's, that, that's the challenge is you know we, we're, we're putting out fertility every month and we're spraying the, the humid till right. every three weeks you know so that we can break down the, the fertilizer that we're applying and keep it in that root zone for the plant to be taken up because that's uh, essentially what we're selling is root mass that's right you know, that, that's what we got to have to dig this grass that's what we got to have to lay the grass back out and have it survive when it gets to the homeowner right so we we, we put a lot of effort into trying to make healthy soils and healthy roots and that's how we put, that's what we do with the human tail so we're, we're we're i guess we're going against the grain in certain sod farms and again we hadn't been this is our first year uh, it's going going well but uh Certain farms are saying, you know, look, if it's not grass you're trying to dig in the next 10, 15, 20 days, don't don't keep applying this fertility. I mean, I mean to the point it almost go yellow. You right. know, so we're disagreeing with that. So what we're saying is that we want to keep the grass green and the roots growing all the time. Even this grass here that just got dug yesterday, we want that grass number one to be coming back. So that's, a, I guess that's a bad example. We, that's the most important spot to be spraying. If you got grass here that's uh, ready to dig, well, we, we do not want it going yellow because that day it stopped this root growth. That's right. And that's what we're selling is roots. Right. So, uh, so, so what that leads to is, is mowing. So we're fertilizing, we're watering, and we're putting the, uh, uh, the, the GZ and the, and the carbon out. That creates more mowing. That's another reason that the other farmers saying, "Look, you're gonna spend too much time mowing." Well, that yeah, that's a lot of time being spent mowing. But that goes back to why the humid till works so well is it's breaking down our that the, the thatch that's coming out behind that mower. We've seen tremendous results with that already. When we were when we first started spraying, spraying um, before we started spraying humid till, we were dealing with leaf blowers. Uh, blowing the thatch out before the diggers got here, that's went away. 
that's went completely away. That's right. Um, so, what, what about what about the landscapers? You know, what are they telling you about your grass to do? To so the, the the contractors that we sell to are, are basically in Charlotte. Uh, we're sending a lot of stuff of Charlotte, Fort Mill, to K area, and uh, they're careful about telling us what's going right with this grass, uh, but they are telling us that their grow in time, get it on the ground, putting the water to it, has, has almost doubled. Uh, is half half the time to grow in. So that is a huge deal for those guys. So that means they can, they can go ahead and pull the water hoses up uh, and, and button that house down. So they're liking your product. They're liking the Monty's product. From, you know, to, to the point that uh, they're, they're asking about what you know, we're doing. Yeah, what we're doing. <laughs> you know, is it something they can do? So uh, it, it's, 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 it's a big hit in, in, in the customer's view too.